see what it means to him now. He's back in the side and he's back in his best form. This kid is playing a gem of an innings. Going to see that salute again. There it is. It has been the most brutal assault on bowling that we've seen for a long time. Just too quick. He's just too good for England today. That is now the fastest 50 by a West Indian batsman. Gale finally getting into his stride. That's teed off and that's gone. There she goes. Similar style, similar bowler. Teeing off. Goes high, goes hard, and goes for six. This one. Higher, further. <laughs> he gets it completely wrong. Oh, it's another big one. It's not going to be... Uh, yes, it is. It is going to be out of the ground again. I think that's the fourth of the game so far. Well, treated with uh, disdain. Under the real quality then uh, from Chris Gale. He just saunters through for an easy single. A real struggle for him at the start of his innings. But, uh, he's been in full flow for the second part, the last, last 50. And you can see what it means to him now. He's back in the side and he's back in his best form. Well, that's in the slot again. He doesn't move after hitting that. Oh, that's big. He really launched into that as well. Well, he's cleared that one. It's a great sound off the bat. It's cool up that. Powerful shot. There's nobody there. And goes over the top, full-length ball. Nobody moves, one bounce again. With their lineup, they need to get into this batting lineup. 100 for Jason Roy. In the gap, and four. What a shot. Just getting enough elevation to beat extra cover. That is not an easy shot to play by any means. He made it look very straightforward. Power down the ground this time. He's in good nick. England's test match captain. That's a sublime innings. There's a gap which he finds, beautiful placement. Not even Stokes could get round, not even Johnny Bairstow. Bash down the ground. Up in the air, it's with the wind and it will go all the way. Nothing Ben Stokes can do. Well, that's beautiful batting. Gave himself some room and just swats it away. It's another six. Nice straight hit, glorious. Catches the cry, but only for someone in that uh, week's Warrell and Walcott stand of a second tier. A glorious hundred by the 22-year-old Shimron Hetmeyer. Shout, 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 finger goes up, Sheldon Cottrell strikes. The ideal start for the man from the Jamaica Defence Force who salutes his colleagues back at home. 
played on. That's exactly where he had his problems when he first started his career. And the ball is just moving back into Jason Roy. And on this occasion, it found the inside edge. And England in a little trouble early on. Cringed at the through extra cover. Well, that's over pitched. And hitting with the wind. Picked up man in the deep. Simple catch. I'm gonna see that salute again. There it is. Back into the attack. Third wicket for Sheldon Cottrell back in the side today. They're not out of it yet. Yeah, I'm sure this time helped on its way by Stokes, who helps himself to another one-day international 50. That's a pretty terrific shot as well. Good use of the feet, Ben Stokes, who's been itching to get down and meet the ball. Oh, big shot. All the way. Fielder interested. Beats him. Nick, gone! Got him. Cottrell has had a brilliant game. Brought back to get wickets, and he has achieved his career best figures in ODIs. <laughs> He's got another one, a five-wicket haul for Sheldon Cottrell. The sergeant salutes, and salutes in all his glory. Goodness gracious, the Vindra Bishu. Magnificent striking from Owen Morgan. That's out of here. And brings up Owen Morgan's 50. Oh, what a shot. I don't even look at where that's gone. That was just in the slot. Oh, big shot. Big shot into the leg side. Set himself early. That has gone a long, long way. This time Morgan joins in. Brilliant batting. Little step across, change of angle, doesn't matter. He gets him to hit it straight, but he has too much power, and it's gone all the way for six. My goodness, that has taken off in a big way. Again, Hetmeyer stands and stares, and it's caught. No, in fact, ricochets off the balcony. Gets it square. Turns blind. And a hundred, a seventh ODI hundred for Joss Butler. It has been the most brutal assault on bowling that we've seen for a long time. That's a hundred. That is a magnificent hundred for England's captain Owen Morgan. And it's brought up in quite typical fashion of the way he's played today. Oh my god. There's a little bit of a fade on it as well. Six number 22. England are one hit away from equaling the world record. A salute from Butler to Watts. <laughs> Sheldon Cottrell as well. <laughs> world record equaled by England. But it's not big enough. The world record for the most sixes in a one-day international innings now goes to England. Goes for it, and it goes all the way. The power of this man sounded really nice. Didn't get the opportunity then, but now the entertainment from the big man, Christopher Henry Gale. It goes all the way yet again. Teeing off, there she goes. Another six. Brilliant. That's gone even further. And the 
has gone up a long way. It has, in fact, gone a long way. Exactly what uh, he is thinking. Make that just another six. <laughs> now he gets a, a sprint on. A magnificent hundred from Chris Gale. His second in the series. And he keeps his team very much in this run chase. It's gone up a long way, and it will be another six. Wow, that is just extraordinary again. Nothing more than a couple of steps down and a flick, dismissing it out of his presence. Oh, there we go. 150 for C.H. Gale. Six, number 20. In this innings for the Windies. Got his man. That is huge, that is big. That could be the match-turning strike from Ben Stokes. Oh. And is underneath it, plan might have worked. Yes, good, safe catch in the dig. And the short ball has worked, that's where his field was set. And it's job done for O'Shane Thomas, the captain has to go. and gone it was really just a matter of time an extra bounce again and the push outside off stump and a simple catch mowing alley the ladies to go simple catch again it's the short ball Chris Wokes just never quite settled and O'Shane Thomas picks up his third Absolutely right, Bish. Another. Josh Butler just trying to help it on its way. And O'Shea Thomas is just too quick. He's just too good for England today. Folding. What a morning. Thomas Pfeiffer. England 113 all out. Going now. I tell you, he's got somewhere to go this afternoon. Six. This time offside. Six more. It's gone uh, a long way. <laughs> Just dismissed. Even the extra pace of Mark Wood has just been clipped over mid-wicket for six. This time just heaved. Brute force from Chris Gale. They'll have to run. Run they do, an astonishing 50. An extraordinary 50 from Chris Gale from just 19 deliveries. That is now the fastest... 50 by a West Indian batsman. Another one, he's dealing in sixes even on this bouncy surface. Another one, another one, Gale is going to give it his best effort. That's gone for six. Leading edge, that's gone straight up, won't even beat the inner circle. Joe Root takes the catch. Oh, what do you know? There is still some bounce in the surface. It's gone up a long way and is taken very simply by Liam Plunkett. Just mixing it up, almost surprised, really. It was a. Uh, Knee high full toss and just couldn't get the control. This time just a fraction too short. Stapler, Stapler. Willie's interested, not now he's not. Just over Jordan. He's got a scamper for this. 
Bon. That'll be it's 54, CJ. Nicholas Buran, only a second in this format of the game. But it's a nice glimpse of his ability as a player. That's gone. That has gone some distance. He picked the length out of that. Nicholas Buran. Oh, he goes full and straight and knocks over Nicholas Buran. What a comeback for Tom Curran. Well, it's been a terrific contest. Peran going at England. Catch taken. Went for the Yorker. It was a, a low full toss in the end, but he had the protection down the ground. Good running catch. And it's anyone's game. 160 for eight. Same again. That is timed really well. Nothing more than a flick. Downwind as well. That's another good shot from Johnny Besto all the way for six. It's a 50 as well. And it's come in very quick time. Just 27 deliveries for him. That should be four. Easily passed. Backward point. Wayward delivery just helped it on its way again. Swept into the leg side as he found the gap. Ball pitches, finds the boundary. Maximum. Flat maximum. 50. Timely 50 for Billings. Straight into the dugout. Clever. Full toss, it very, very straight to the short boundary. I think it's four. Starts with a slow ball, pumped down the ground for a maximum, he's under pressure. Oh, he gets this. The fielder out there at long off, and punching it for six. Next, yes, I'm given. What a delivery. You can't keep this man out of the game. Wicket number three now. This was absolutely the quickest delivery is bold. Strong appeal again. Make that number four. Edged and gone. Another for Chris Jordan. West Indies five down. Another quick delivery. Edged and gone again. Slip in place. It's Joe Rude. It went very quickly. Jordan has four. Well, he's having a great evening, Chris Jordan. This is wonderful stuff from him. Chip, simple catch. Easy as you like. Dear, oh dear, a continuation of what we saw in that second T20 international, the first delivery. Well, that again is a soft dismissal. You want to try and play aggressive, positive cricket. That was neither really, just got caught in between, tried to go over the top, couldn't beat Jordan. Big one, should be taken. Denley under it and takes it. Wicket number three. Again, the Windies capitulating within the first six overs. Make that number four. Willie is on fire. This is his best figures in T20 internationals. And that ends proceedings for today. 3-0 for England in T20 cricket. It's been a disappointing end to what has been a very enthralling series.